The ceremony will commence very shortly. The university has a contract photographer to provide photography service during the ceremony. If you wish to take photos during the ceremony, I would ask that you do so discreetly from your seat and please do not use flash. To maintain the ceremony's decorum, could you also please switch off your mobile phones? For safety reasons, I would ask guests not to enter the galleries upstairs and please do not sit in the steps in the balcony area. In the event of an emergency, please follow the instructions of the security officers and ushers. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, please stand for the academic procession which is about to enter the hall. And please remain standing for the Australian National Anthem. You're encouraged to join in the singing. The text of the anthem is printed on page two of your program. Robert Murray Hill, Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, declare open this congregation convened for the purpose of presenting degrees. Distinguished guests, parents, relatives, friends, and especially graduates, welcome to the University of Adelaide's graduation ceremony. I wish to acknowledge the Ghana people, the original custodians of the Adelaide Plains, and the land on which the University of Adelaide's campuses at North Terrace, Waite, Theberton, and Roseworthy are built. Graduates, your graduation is an event in which you and your family and friends can take great pride. It's also a source of pride and satisfaction for the University of Adelaide. Graduation day is an opportunity for you to reflect both on the past and on the future. 
This may well be a very significant change in direction in your life. Whatever direction your life may take, the skills that you've acquired and developed here will stand you in good stead, not only in your working and professional life, but in life generally. Now it gives me great pleasure to introduce to you today's graduation orator, Mr John Dunlop. Mr Dunlop is an Australian mining engineer with bachelor's and master's degrees in mining engineering from the University of Melbourne. For some five years he was also a lecturer in mining engineering at that same university. He has approximately 45 years of mining experience, surface and underground, in a variety of base metal and precious metal production and management situations. Mr Dunlop has conducted his own consulting practice for the last 20 years, now based in far north Queensland. During this time he has worked in over 30 countries on every continent, holds a professional certificate in arbitration from the University of Adelaide. He's also chairman of listed companies Alliance Resources Limited and Alcane Resources Limited and a director of Copper Strike Limited. He's a former director of the Australasian Institute of Mining and Metallurgy and still chairs the national consult their national consulting affiliate, the Mineral Industry Consultants Association. Out of his uh, occupation, he happens to be additionally a skilled mountaineer, having been on Everest in 2002 and K2 in 2004. He is, of course, here in his own right, but he also happens to be the son of the Australian hero, Sir Edward Weary Dunlop. We're privileged to hear him speak today. Please welcome Mr John Dunlop. Chancellor, Vice-Chancellor and President, Department Heads, distinguished guests, members of staff, and especially you, the graduates. It's my pleasure, in fact, a great honour to be given the opportunity to add my congratulations to you, today's graduation cohort. In so doing, I hope you'll permit me to indulge in offering you some perhaps gratuitous advice in pursuing your careers, illustrated by some of my own personal experiences and some quotes, the author of which will remain to be revealed towards the end of my short address. Now in short, I have six um, items of uh, what I referred to as gratuitous advice, and I'll summarise those for you. Firstly, make informed choices driven by your own core values. Retain an open and inquiring mind. Be a good listener. Pursue lifelong learning and skill development. Consistently apply ethical behaviour that reflects your values and beliefs. And finally, accept setbacks and capitalise on their hidden opportunities. Now, just to expand on those points very briefly, informed choices. For me at least, it was a core objective to pursue a career in what was then a newly emerging minerals industry in the 1960s. But I made my choice only after spending some time working in the industry as a vacation student and um, 
my time underground and working on offshore oil rigs was right as fun on the one hand, but it was also defining in a career sense. Now secondly, the inquiring mind brings me to the first of the quotations that I've prepared for you. Beware the person who works hard to learn something, learns it and finds himself no wiser than before. My own postgraduate research and lecturing in the 1970s set me on a course to appreciate always the value of research and inquiry. Never more true than today, where smart technology is the core of commercial advantage. The third point about being a good listener, or perhaps a good observer. Life happens too fast for you to ever think about it. If you could just persuade people of this, instead they insist on amassing information. Personally, I learned to listen and observe actively long before my hearing was impaired by gunfire, explosives and noisy equipment. Though strange as it may seem, it's often the silent members of the team who are those most worth listening to. Learn to recognise and code common human behaviours and use those behaviours when assembling working teams. Moving on to lifelong learning. New knowledge is the most valuable commodity on earth. The more truth we have to work with, the richer we become. In your professions, there is now, or will be soon, a chartered professional certification of some sort. And this is something to which you should aspire. When you progress to CP status, you'll be required to commit formally to a process of, of continual professional development and to be audited for compliance with that requirement. I recently edited a textbook on mind management at the age of 62, partly as my commitment to this CP concept but also as an act of appreciation to an industry that served me well. We're nearly there, only two to go. Ethical behaviour. Another flaw in, in the human character is that everyone wants to build and nobody wants to do any maintenance. It's what sets us apart from tradespersons and contractors. Ethics is at the core of professionalism. We put the interests of community ahead of all else, and certainly well before our own enrichment. In a perverse way, I learned the most about ethics when my life was on the line both in Vietnam and much later on Everest. But it is harder to practice in peacetime or from a position of relative comfort. So always pause and ask yourself, is it true? Is it helpful? Is it inspiring? Is it necessary? Is it kind? T-H-I-N-K. Now, about setbacks. 
laughter and tears are responses to frustration and exhaustion. The quote goes on to say, I myself prefer to laugh as there is less cleaning up to do afterwards. There will be setbacks along your career paths. You may have experienced some already, despite this joyous milestone today. But remember the saying, what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, and if not stronger, certainly wiser. Whether it be job loss, family bereavement, relationship collapse, health issues, tempest, cyclone Yassi in my case, warfare or some other near-death experience. You will emerge eventually stronger and wiser for it all. So there it is, graduates, that's at least as I see it. Apparently, in 1997, Kurt Vonnegut who was a much loved American uh, writer, who was responsible incidentally for all of those quotations. He addressed a graduation class at Yale and his learned advice apparently was wear sunscreen. Well, actually, that's what he was quoted as saying by the newspapers. Apparently, it upset him quite a bit. Well, that may well be good advice, but I prefer the lines from, from Pilgrim's Progress. My sword I give to him who succeeds me in my pilgrimage. My courage and skill to those who can get it. My scars I take with me as witness that I have served him well. So congratulations to each and every one of you. Enjoy and remember this special day. I wish you well as you embark on your respective careers. And remember to strive each day to better not just yourselves, but also the community at large. And by so doing, your country, which has bestowed upon you the gift of your educational foundation. Thank you. Thank you. On behalf of the graduates and their families attending this afternoon's ceremony, I would like to thank Mr. John Dunlop for his stimulating and inspiring address. We are honoured that you have taken the time to join us on this special day to share with us your thoughts and experiences. Your words of encouragement and advice are greatly appreciated. They remind us that education places upon each of us an enduring responsibility to make the best possible use of our talents and to contribute to the betterment of society in whatever way we can. Please join me in once again thanking Mr John Dunlop. Chancellor, in 2009, the university established the University Doctoral Research Medals. These medals are awarded to graduates who have completed outstanding research at doctoral level. This award is the premier award for doctoral candidates at the university. I, Professor Warren Bevington, Vice Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, present to you the winner of the 2012 University Doctoral Research Medal.
Abbas Zeni Jerome. Chancellor, every year the university presents university medals to acknowledge the most outstanding graduates in each faculty who have completed an undergraduate honours program or a bachelor program of at least four years duration. The university medals are awarded to them for their consistently outstanding performance across the whole of their undergraduate studies. I, Professor Warren Bevington, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, present to you the winner of the 2012 University Medal for the Faculty of Engineering, Computer and Mathematical Sciences. <clears throat> Nicola Diane Roberts. I will now receive the candidates for degrees and I call on the Vice-Chancellor. Chancellor, I, Professor Warren Bevington, Vice-Chancellor and President of the University of Adelaide, certify to you and the whole university that the graduates who will be presented to you have fulfilled all the conditions prescribed for admission to the awards for which they are so presented. I, Robert Murray Hill, Chancellor of the University of Adelaide, by virtue of the power committed to me by the university, confirm that each graduate is admitted to the rank and privileges of a holder of the award in the University of Adelaide for which they are so presented. I call on the Executive Dean of the Faculty of Engineering, Computer and Mathematical Sciences to present the graduates. Chancellor, I, Professor John Bynum, present to you the graduates from the Faculty of Engineering, Computer and Mathematical Sciences. To the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, for a thesis entitled Evolutionary Algorithms for Supply Chain Optimization, Maksud Ibrahimov. For a thesis entitled Multi-Objective Genetic Algorithm Optimization of Water Distribution Systems Accounting for Economic Cost Greenhouse Gas Emissions and Reliability, Wen Yan Wu. For a thesis entitled New Technologies and Mathematical Modeling of Fines Assisted Oil and Gas Recovery, Abbas Zaini Jaromi. For a thesis entitled Contributions to the Development of a National Grid Infrastructure for E-Science, Shunda Zhang. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering, Civil and Structural, Mohamed Faisal Albita. <laughs> Jin Bao. Anglo. <laughs> Tianran Liu. Masafumi Osugi. Ji Wen. Ji Ting Zhen. Lu Yu Zhang. Yu 
Yu Zhang. And Yuan Zhu. To the degree of Master of Engineering Mining, Srinivasa and Ranganathan. And Ryo Yoshino. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering Signal and Information Processing, Sheng Jian Chen. Zhao Hu. And Ong Tech Hong. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering Science for a thesis entitled Analysis of Rock Performance Under Three Dimensional Stress to Predict Instability in Deep Boreholes, Arash Mira Madzizogi. To the degree of Master of Philosophy for a thesis entitled Alignment of Time Course Microarray Data with Hidden Markov Models, Sean Joseph Robinson. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Computer Science, Yi Hong Zhang. And Zhuang Lin. To the degree of Master of Computing and Innovation, Dawei Deng. Elisavieta Klansataya. Samantha Ramon. Ji Yang. Sen Zhang, and Zhang Zheng. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Engineering, Civil and Environmental, Si Yuan Chang. To the degree of Master of Engineering, Civil and Structural Engineering, Arnold Palasige. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Marine Engineering, Shane Lewis Eckert. Hagen Joseph Lorne. Jamie Masterson. Dai Fan. And Tyson Sorensen. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Petroleum Engineering, Imran Haider. Joshua Robert Hannam. Ho Tianjian. Farah Adiba Ismail. Liu Zhang Yi. Caleb John Lodes. Zhu Ying Ma. Simon Richard Maguire. Hoda Minufa. Amit Manilal Prajapati. 
Lloyd Stanislaus Roche. Maria Romero. Setina Suisathetwat. And Mohammed Wajahat Sia Zubani. To the degree of Master of Science, Petroleum Geoscience, Do Ti Tan Yang. And Farag Issa. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Sciences, Defense Signal Information Processing, Jason Paul Hurridge. To the degree of Master of Software Engineering, Jiang Heng. And Kakumba Moses Josh. <laughs> to the degree of Master of Water Resources Management, Andrea Paola Ramirez Nieto. Oscar Andres Santiago Urea. And Sanjina Udapai. <laughs> to the Graduate Diploma in Computer Science, Albert Stain. To the Graduate Certificate in Marine Engineering, Anthony Rocco Fidele. And Simon Richard Thomas. To the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Computer Science, David Gregory Desmond. Brad Jason Zacker. Chang Cheng Zhu. <laughs> to the honors degree of Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences, David John Arnold. And Nicola Diane Roberts. To the Honours Degree of Bachelor of Mathematical Sciences, Kate Elise Richter. <laughs> to the Degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours, Allah Mahmoud Al Sabahi. Christopher Thomas Anker. Andrew James Angel. Caroline Anna Oricht. And Ahmad Helmi Azmili. audience, if I may um, inform you, this is a very long list under one category. So perhaps some applause after every few, and uh, we'll get some appreciation. It's, I'm going to feel very lonely if I read the next large night list to no applause at all. Mozan Bapiri. <laughs> Stefan Enrico Bassi. Thomas Joel Bateman, who also received a Bachelor of Finance. <laughs> Ryan James Betcher. <laughs> Thomas Carl Bierbaum, who also receives a Bachelor of Economics. <laughs> Lisa Jane Blinko. <laughs> Andrew Charles Bradley. Stephen Andrew Carr. Thank you. 
Ming Shui Chuan and Clarence Bong Hian Ho. Andrew Luke Cooper. Dong Dang Ching. Aidan Christopher Duffy, who also receives a Bachelor of Economics. Leeton James Earl. Jed Matthew Eastwood. Peter J. Enright. Min J. Fan. Richard Kang Fitzpatrick, who also receives a Bachelor of Science. Timothy Joseph Forrest. Anastasia Fragulis. Samuel Nicholas Ganguly. Wang Ru Gao. And Benjamin Nathan Goldsworthy. <laughs> Jessica Yvonne Goodchild. James Bruce Goss. Dan Lu Guo. Jin Guo. And Glenn Gordon Hancock. Eleanor Rose Hardy. Alexandria Jennifer Holroyd Harvey. Jason Luke Hodge. Alexis Jane Holland. And Nina Elizabeth Herr. Nicholas Anthony Yasiello. Madeline Isles. Dana Paul Ippolito. Hanan Jamal. Timothy John Keane. Sarah Jane Keenan, who also receives a Bachelor of Finance. <laughs> Sasha Kezic. Richard Glenn King. Lindsay Charles Klein. Panayoti Kokinakis. Michael Deming Lee, who also receives a Bachelor of Finance. <laughs> Daniel Young Scott. <laughs> Chang Ying Lee. Ali, Sang Na Lin, and Ronnie Sang Quokling. <laughs> the 
Da Peng Liu. Patrick Ronan Lynch. Kieran Bernard McGann. And Saida Sadia Mahfouz, who also receives a Bachelor of Finance. <laughs> Kate Margaret Mobbs. Musfira Siahira Musa. Jordan Naispear. Tian Kuang Nun. And David Olenshaw. Michael James Pantazis. Larry Parikh. Alina Alice Pearson. Elizabeth Ann Phillips. William Pickett. And Stephen Mark Clifford Pilgrim, who also receives a Bachelor of Finance. Samuel Clifton Pryor. Nicholas Andrew Purden. Mengning Chu. Sonia Sunjay Rajay, who also receives a Bachelor of Finance. Mohamed Fitri Ramli. Michael Jake Randa. Rami Baz Rashid. Raymond Heng Zenhua. And Andrew Donald Reed. Stuart James Robson. And Adam Russo, who also receives a Bachelor of Finance. <laughs> Fahad Salim Butt. <laughs> Ashley John Schultz. <laughs> Michael John Schillum. James Learmont Sobey. And Danny James Strangio. Dermot Sundquist. Jenna Thomas. Patrick James Thompson. Duk Min Tran. And Tin Sang Tzu. <laughs> Hong Hu Tu, who also receives a Bachelor of Economics. Michael Sam Tyler. Bo Wang. Shumai Wang. Paul Raymond Weller. And Jessica Kate Westhorpe.
Chairman Lee Whiteman. Jared Kenneth Williams. Sarah Junyi Wong. Terence Yi Chun Wong. And Carrie Ann Woodford Hearn. Yergia. Jean Benju. La Yang. Feng Hui Zhang. And Jiahua Zhu. To the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Arts, Matty August Proulx. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Engineering with Honours and Bachelor of Science, Andrew Donald McKenzie. <laughs> and Sebastian Suhatsky. To the degree of Bachelor of Computer Graphics, Hayden James Faulkner. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Computer Science, Paul Greer. <laughs> Sahil Kumar Chuja. <laughs> Thomas Christopher Crisp. Sheng Dai and Sean Adam Dennis. Ran Ding Joshua Douglas Malloy James Jeffrey Constable Gray Matthew William Harris. And Lachlan Kang. Christopher Michael King. Ming Zhuang Li. York Possumiers, Thomas Kenneth, Thomas Kenneth Reese, and Adam Sean Rodder. Sejun Sun. Nicholas Wayne Simons, Yong Fu Tech, James Mark Williamson, Jingju Zhang, and Yuan Zhang. To the degree of Bachelor of Engineering, Kaylin Dimitrov. <laughs> Melissa Jane Fennick. Peter John Fosdyke. Donggen.
and Feng Hua. <laughs> Zhu Jin. <laughs> Chia Yu Li. <laughs> CJ Li. Daniel Charles Mabel. And Coda Wayne John Patterson. Andrew Lyle Pennington. Vasilios Plarinos. and George Hong Ming Ramsey, who also receives a Bachelor of Economics. <laughs> Martin Ratanatre. Oliver Francis Roche. Saloni Shabraj. And Yi Song. Thomas Francis Sullivan. Shu Yu Sun. Samuel James Swanson. <laughs> Jin Yi Wang. And Adam Williams. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor and Mathemat to the degree of Bachelor of Mathematical and Computer Sciences, Amir Parsa Anvar. <laughs> Eka Christiana Baker. Jessica Amy Carno. And Annie Conway, who also receives a Bachelor of Finance. Stephen Dolly. <laughs> Kelly Lee Francis State. Jesse David Frost. And Lachlan James Gunn, who also receives a Bachelor of Engineering with Honors. Claire Louise Hocking. And Peter John Yanella, who also receives the Bachelor of Engineering with Honors. Atma Maria Ivanchevich. And Travis Andrew Kaushka, who also receives the Bachelor of Engineering with Honors. Lauren Ashley Kennedy. Trevor Yitzin Tark Lau. Odon Lev. Ning Ma. Joel William Mundy. and Yue Wang. <laughs> to the degree of Bachelor of Mathematical Sciences, Sky Chatterjee. <laughs> Alana Rachel Cuthbert. <laughs> J 
Yusha Margaret Kerr. Michael John Liddymore. And Ryan Quinlan. Concluding the ceremony, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the mace bearer, the musicians, and all staff and student volunteers who assisted in the organization and running of the ceremony. I invite you all to light refreshments in the Eclipse function room on level four of the Union Building on the lower level of the campus, and the signage to direct you to the Union Building and also to Hub Central where photographers framing and other merchandise will be available. I have great pleasure in congratulating all the new graduates here today. As graduates of the University of Adelaide, you are also its alumni and ambassadors for the university. Over the years since the University of Adelaide was established, the alumni have made an enormous contribution to the community, both here and throughout the world. You have a stake in this great institution because the qualifications it has given you and your experience while here are yours for life. Your knowledge, friendship, active participation and interest in the university's ongoing development are very important to its continuing reputation and strength. I invite you to stay in contact with us via the online community, Adelaide Online, and you'll receive login details and a membership card over the next month. I now ask the new graduates to remain seated and the audience to stand and join with me in congratulating the graduates on their achievements. remain standing and the graduates now please stand for the academic procession followed by the VIP guests and graduates and I now declare this congregation to be adjourned.